Hey Glam Squad, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a Shop My Peora Stash Christmas edition. I saw a few people doing videos like this and I thought it was such a good idea. I do feel really lucky that I do get sent down some PR products from different brands. I'm so grateful. Sometimes it can be really overwhelming because you can get a lot of packages at once and sometimes I feel really guilty. I get like a blogger's guilt because I feel like I don't get enough use out of the products I've been sent down. So in this video, it gives me a chance to try loads of new products. It gives you guys a chance to see some new products, kind of my first impressions on them, and yeah, we can just kind of try and experience it together. It's also a really good chance for me to try a lot of brand new Pure that's just been sitting around and I can just tick this off my list <laughs> and it's another thing done and dusted. But before we get into the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this one. This week's comment of the week comes from, and I do apologize because I will probably pronounce this wrong, but it's Rue or you for I. And she says, this is very helpful for rookies like me. Thanks for explaining step by step. I always mess up my eyeliner, but we'll try now using your tips. Oh, I really hope that the video helped you and you managed to slay your eyeliner game. But remember, practice makes perfect. Even some days I struggle with my liner. Like no one is ever going to get their eyeliner perfect every single time. You get It does get easier with practice. You get better with practice. But even if you stop for a couple of months, I find sometimes it might get a little bit tricky for you again. So don't be too hard on yourself. Practice makes perfect. And just remember that everyone makes mistakes and everyone is going to mess up at some point. So don't be too hard on yourself. So I have a big enough box here. I actually do have a big plastic drawer full of products, but I just picked out some products that were still in their packaging and like something for every part of my face so I can create a full look using everything. 90% of this is like completely unused. There's one or two things that I've used once, like these glitter eyeshadows, because it's a festive look, I thought we had to have glitter, so these were the only ones that I had used. And also the Makeup Revolution White Concealer. I had to include this because if I'm doing a cut crease, this is godsend so I had to include that but everything else is pretty much unopened and unused. I'm going to be using this gorgeous PR gift box that I got from Pixie just last week. It's got loads of new like priming products so this is the kind of a system that you'd use right after your skincare. It's like priming moisturizer, lip brightener, priming oil, that kind of thing. So I'm going to give that a go today. Then for eyeshadow, I'm kind of debating between two different palettes. So I use this in a makeup lesson, I believe, just one or two eyeshadows, and this is brand new as well. So I want to use both of them in a video, and I can't decide which one to use for this video. Both have very beautiful like autumn winter colors. There's uh, plums in there, there's browns. Um, the morph, the big Morphe one is just so beautiful for autumn winter and there's such a huge selection. So I am kind of tempted to use that, but then in the Madison palette, there's also this beautiful burgundy shade. So drawn to it, I'm so obsessed with it. And I haven't given this palette a proper go yet. I've only really used one or two of the shadows in a makeup lesson, so <gasps> this is so hard, okay. Okay, I'm thinking a burgundy cut crease with some gold in there, some gold glitter, some gold shimmer, like the really like pop up against the burgundy. So I think I'm gonna go for the Maddie palette. I really wanted to get like festive feels from this video, but my backdrop, my red backdrop is looking very orangey. So that is a major fail. <laughs> I'm not having any luck with backdrops lately, am I? Okay, so I'm gonna start by using this blending brush. This is just from Morphe. And I've just taken Latte, and I'm just popping this right into the crease. You can skip the step if you'd like. I personally just like to always ground my colors with a neutral. 
and it just kind of helps contour and shape the lid but you can totally skip the step if you'd like. So I'm just dipping into the black shade on a pencil brush and I'd recommend using a really small detail brush, something like this, because you want this color to be really precise. So I'm just gonna tap off the excess and this is going right above the crease of my eye. So you can stamp it on. I'm not gonna blend it up too high. I'm just gonna get that color on there. And you don't have to be too precise with it. You're gonna be doing a lot of blending in a minute. I just wanna get that color on there. Don't bring it up too high because the purple is going to help kind of soften out the black and then you blend it up. So it's gonna look like you're using two different shades of plum when you're just using the one or burgundy or whatever you wanna call it. Um, so, I mean, if you're too afraid to use a black, you could go in with a dark brown or you could just use a deeper shade of purple if you like. Now I'm going to go in with a fluffy blending brush and that beautiful dark plum shade. Now it looked like a really deep burgundy but when it's put on the crease it's actually more of like a purpley pink. Um, so you can see this black is going to be great for creating that definition and just creating a little bit of depth to the look. You just want to focus this like right above the crease because keep in mind you're going to be cutting all this in a minute. So it's going to soften out the black and deepen it. And then it's also going to blend slightly above. So it looks more like a pink shade above, like you're creating like a gradient look when you're actually only using one shade of purple. For the next step, you just want to take a cotton bud and I just want to clean up the lid a little bit just to keep that cut crease really sharp. So we're just going to get rid of all that extra product there. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, it's just going to make everything nice and clean for you because sometimes you'll find, especially when you're using darker shades, that you can get a bit messy or they'll kind of blend into the white shade and it'll be really hard to clean up then. So I actually forgot to put down my shadow shield. So I literally just got a little bit of cotton wool and I just kind of cleaned up here just to kind of sharpen out the edge where my liner would be. But if you want to skip that step, just go straight in with your shadow shield. These are amazing because you can actually line it up with your lower lash line. So you'll create like a perfect wing or a perfect perfect angled eyeshadow. It also collects any fallout from the eyeshadow as well. So I always like to use these. I actually just forgot to apply it before I started recording. So I'm just gonna pop it on now and it's gonna help me as well when I'm creating my wing. Um, so these are absolutely amazing and I do have these for sale as well on my website. I'll leave the link in the description box. So now we're going to cut the crease. I'm using this teeny tiny brush from the Madison Beer collection. This is great for cutting the crease. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place that down on the inner corner. Uh, you see me do this in a few videos and then just look up and look around and it will show you exactly where your cut crease should be for your eye shape. And then you literally just want to fill that out. See my, it's after creasing here again. So I'm just going to clean that up. But Pack that concealer onto the lid. You can see I didn't clean enough away there now when I was doing that, so it's after creasing a little bit into the white, but that's okay, you can fix that up in a minute. I'm not gonna bring it right down here because I am gonna be putting in the darker shades. So I'm now just going to work on kind of sharpening out the top. Um, so any white eyeshadow you have, you can just pack this on top of the concealer and it's going to set it, but it's also going to just kind of bring out the whiteness just a little bit more. So now I'm gonna work on the outer corner. I'm gonna go back in with a blending brush and that plum shade we use, and I'm just gonna start packing that on to the outer corner. We're just bringing it in towards like the color of my eyeball, because it's gonna be like, this is gonna be the lightest color, and then it's going to be like blending into the black, so kind of like a gradient effect. You've seen me do this technique a few times in my videos. So I'm just going to go in with that pencil brush again in a little bit more black and I'm just going to 
kind of just go around the edges of the shadow shield so this is where the shadow shield really comes in handy again because you're literally going to be creating that really sharp line when you take off your shadow shield so you know exactly where to put your winged liner um, so I'm just going to run that across the shadow shield and then I'm just going to kind of tap it into the outer corner just to deepen that up now for the fun bit I am taking Godfather which is this beautiful goldy shade and I'm just going to press this on I've soaked my brush a little bit with some setting spray and this is just going to go on and the reason why I wanted the white to be so vibrant underneath is because you can see the shadow is a little bit sheer so that white base underneath it just like really adds to it and really makes it sparkle so beautiful I really want that gold to be really vibrant and shimmer more so I'm just going to go in with the Be Perfect uh, like it's like a, a gold um, shadow <laughs> liquid shadow there's <laughs> I just like forgot how to speak for a second it's all right and I'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand because I don't want to go straight on with the brush I just want it to be sheer I don't want it to take over the other eyeshadow so it's going to be like a blend of the two so again I'm just going to start tapping this on so you can see that is really goldy and sparkly but I love the warmth of the other shade and then the pop of the white underneath so literally just want a blend of everything so now we're ready to take off this shadow shield so you just want to be really gentle so you don't pull at the eye oh yeah look at that so beautiful oh my god so you can see what I mean now it just creates that lovely clean line for you so you'll, when you're doing your liner you're literally just going to be following that line I'm just going to create a little bit of thickness here and then I'm literally just going to be stamping the liner into the root of the lashes just to create a little bit of a shadow the lashes I'm using have a black lash band so if you're using a set of lashes like that I'd recommend that you do line your lids first or just create some sort of a base so then you won't see the separation of your um, like your lid space and your lashes if that makes sense because your lashes aren't going to come down right down here so now I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of mascara for my top lashes. I'm using this one from my PR box. It's a L'Oreal mascara. And actually, I really love the packaging. Oh yes, I like this. The brush is not too thick. So that's good. And I'm just going to just basically just create one thin coat on my top lashes. It's actually nice and smooth and I like that the brush is not too big um, my lashes are not clumpy or anything and for lashes I'm going to be using the Brian lashes they're probably one of my most dramatic lashes from my collection as my mom says my dad is very dramatic so these lashes are dramatic just like him <laughs> no I'm just kidding um, but that actually wasn't planned but these are named after my dad but they are probably one of my most dramatic lashes from the collection I love them they're nice and full and fluffy so I'm gonna be wearing these babies today so I'm going to try out the P or box from Pixie so this has a priming oil an under eye brightener a lip brightener and a brightening perfecter blurs and perfects to give a dewy radiant finish um, I'm not sure if you're meant to like use these together or use one or the other so I'm just going to use one I'm just going to use the priming oil so I'm going to give it a good old shake I love anything that has vitamin C in it I think it's like really brightening and really beautiful on the skin Ooh, okay so I've been listening to Christmas songs, so I'm like really in the Christmas spirit right now. Oh, oh, this feels so nice. I still have my little bandage on, I'm sorry, it's so ugly. My nail is starting to grow back, but it's only up a tiny bit. So I had to put a bandage on for this video because it's really ugly to look at and I don't want to like freak you guys out. But my nail is starting to grow back. So this you're meant to apply from the tube. 
we're just going to put it on like so. Kind of has like an orange tinge to it. Yeah. Yeah, it actually blends in okay. So now I'm going to take some more products from my little PR box. I have a It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skincare. <laughs> um, probably should have used this instead of the Pixi products. So probably going to have like too much on my face today, but that's okay. Suitable for sensitive skin. Natural no makeup makeup effect coverage that minimizes pores and imperfections. All day hydration and wear. <laughs> So white. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna have to go, I think, and get a darker foundation because this is not going to work. Um, it is very lightweight, it's blending nicely. I really do love It Cosmetics products. I think they're foundations their CC creams are incredible and the coverage is really good too and I like the fact that they start with skincare and kind of build their product around the skincare I think that's really cool um, so it is worth the price um, this is just obviously ooh, far too light for me okay so I mixed in the it cosmetics CC cream in with it and it's actually really beautiful I really like it this is a little bit too dark for me so it kind of balanced out I also this is the matte version, so it's really matte, and I actually don't like how matte it is. Um, now, they do have the hydrating one as well, which I'll definitely get next time when I'm out of this one, but I'm not a big fan of the matte finish because I'm dry anyway. I think this can make me look um, just extra dry. It can kind of sit a little bit in the fine lines of my forehead, so I just prefer more hydrating foundations anyway they're my fave so i like this balance of the two that one's really hydrating that one's more matte but um the color and everything they just blend it together beautifully so i'm really happy with that okay, so moving on to concealer i'm using the elf cosmetics concealer and i have used this before i haven't used this color before i have used this type of concealer before and i love it um when i tried it first i actually didn't like it but the more I use it, the more I adore it. It's actually really good coverage and it blends beautifully as well. This is in the shade Medium Peach. So the other one I had was light, so this is a little bit warmer. Moving on to my bronzer, I'm gonna use the Pixie by Petra Palette. This is uh, Honey Nectar. So in this you get four different colors. You get your bronzer, your blush, and you get two different highlight shades, a gold and a pink. So I'm gonna go in first with the bronzer. I'm using this Morphe Angle Brush. This is in a bad way, it's all like fluffy. <laughs> Um, hopefully this one is okay because this actually came in a set of four and the bronzer that I was using was very pink. Um, so hopefully this one is going to be okay. Okay, much better. Yeah, oh I like that. I really like that colour actually. That is beautiful. And I like that you get like everything you need in the one palette because I actually have so many like highlight palettes and contour palettes so it's nice just to have everything in one little compact just to throw it into your handbag and you're good to go before I go any further I have to sort out my brows because they are horrendous so I'm going to be using the browsings palette I have used browsings before but I haven't actually used this so this is a beautiful palette so you get um, three waxes in there and you get a couple of different brow eyeshadows as well brow eyeshadows brow brow products but brow shadow there we go <laughs> um, so I like the fact that even though this is the dark one so they have light medium and dark this is the dark one and I like the fact they still have lighter shades in here as well because I have such little brow in the middle that if I go in with a dark shade all over I end up with a really like harsh eyebrow because I have a lot of filling in to do uh, especially now because my tint is faded my brows need to be shaped 
um, so I, I kind of lost my shape a little bit so I have a lot of filling in to do. Okay, so I'm going to start with the lightest colour in the palette and I'm going to start carving out my brows. So I'm just going to start underneath and get that nice clean line back. Oh yes. Now I'm just going to go to the top of the brow and I'm just going to start filling that in. Fill out those gaps and also at the front here. So this is still just the lightest colour in the palette. Okay, now I'm going to go into the third colour down, this one right here. And I'm going to start filling in my arch, which is basically non-existent. My brows are extra like stubborn since I shaved them off as well last year for breast cancer awareness. They're like... I have a lot of like teeny tiny like baby hair so they really need to be tinted regularly to keep that shape of my arch or they just disappear down to nothing. So like I really love my brows when they're freshly waxed and shaped. They look really full but as soon as my tint starts to fade my brows just like become non-existent like they are now. So I actually have a wax kit at home like I do do brows at home usually but I'm actually out of a couple of things so I can't do my brows myself so that's very sad. I might have to order some because I know when I go back to work we're going to be so busy until Christmas as well it's going to be like the Hunger Games like literally the end of the world so I can't see us getting lunch breaks or having any type of break up until Christmas Eve so or Christmas Eve night so I'm gonna to have to sort out my own brows. Okay, so I'm just going to take a black liner again. This is not from my PR box, this is just one that I had. I'm just lining. So I'm going to take that plum shade and I'm just going to start to blend this across the lower lash line. I'm just making sure you tap off the excess so you don't have a lot of fallout because I've already done my base so I don't want there to be like a lot of mess. Oh, I totally forgot about my highlight stick from Morphe. So technically you should use this before you powder but I forgot so I'm just going to go in and use it now. Um, so it looks like this and it is a beautiful gold stick. So I'm just going to pop this just here on my cheekbones. This is really glowy. It's not like, you know, some of them have like chunks of glitter in them and they're like really streaky. This isn't. You can see it's really like naturally glowy. This would be so gorgeous if you just had like a bit of BB cream on or something and just had that glow going on in your cheekbone. So beautiful, especially now with the masks, you know, when you're not wearing a lot of makeup. Just to have like the brows, the eyes, some like really cute lashes on and that glow on the cheekbone. Absolutely beautiful. So now for blush, I'm going to go back to the Pixie palette and I'm going to use this beautiful blush right here. I'm going to tap off the excess. I feel like this is going to be really pigmented, so I'm just going to tap the excess off here on the back of my hand. And, ooh. And next we need some glow. So seeing as I use a gold stick, I'm going to go in with a gold highlighter and I have gold in my eyes, so... We're gonna be matching. Oh yes, love, love, love. It's really pretty. I actually do really like Pixie's products. I have a couple of their eyeshadow palettes and I don't love them. Maybe I just haven't got the right one. I don't love them, I find them very powdery, but everything else is like really beautiful. I love their skincare. Okay. I totally forgot about my inner corner highlight, which I have on this side. So I use Angel here from the Madison palette. Yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit of Angel and Butterfly Fantasy. And we're just going to pop this up here on my brow bone. Okay, so let's see what's left in the box. We have the Blur Luminosity Gold from Vita Labrata. That is like an illuminator, so... Uh, I'll use that another time. Two red lipsticks and a lip gloss from Morphe. One is like a really deep red and the other is a brighter red. Um, definitely not gonna go with this look, so we're gonna leave that one off. Um, 
Then we have the Friends collection, which I threw in, just in case they do go, but I don't know what it'd be too much. I mean, everything about this look is extra, so technically I could just go the whole hog, or the Sigma Mini Matte Liquid Lipsticks. There's kind of nudes and pinks in here. Mm, what am I gonna do? Mm -mm -mm. What you gonna do when it comes for you, bad boys, bad boys? Okay, so in the Sigma Mini Matte Lipsticks, there's one called New Mod, which is a warm nude mauve. That might actually work, so I'm just gonna apply that now. Yeah, much better. The last product in the box is the Madison Beer Lip Gloss in Venus. So I hope this goes with this look. Yes. And the Morphe glosses are actually really pigmented as well. I really like that. So that is it. That is what I've come up with, very dramatic, really beautiful party look. I'm really happy with it. Really enjoyed sitting down, just playing with makeup and having a chat with you guys today. If I could pick two favorites from this whole pure box right now, I would say it would be the Maddie palette. I thought it was really beautiful. Colors are really pigmented, blended beautifully and little to a zero fallout. And I have used some of the lighter colors as well in the past. They've been beautiful. And I, I really think you can tell how good a palette is when you're using like really dramatic colors like this, like the black and the purple, absolutely no fallout, which was amazing. So I really loved that. And my second one, would be the mascara. I really like the packaging, uh, really, really pretty, really girly. The, the brush isn't too big. I could apply mascara on my lower lash line and it didn't like stick to my skin or crumble or anything like that. No crumbling at all, no clumping. Like, I don't think it like lengthened my lashes or anything like my lashes are really tiny anyway so there's literally no hope for them so I've never really seen a mascara that I've just been obsessed with because I don't really get results from mascara because I have very little lashes if that makes sense uh, but I do when I do pick out a mascara what I look for is clumping and the size of the brush so this had both a really nice formula it didn't clump and the brush was small enough not the smallest i've used but it was small enough and the packaging is literally a winner so yeah i hope this video was useful i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i get to see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>